service or replace the seals in your pump, you must first start by removing the manifold. Use a 14mm Allen wrench to remove the 8 hex socket head manifold screws. Note, upon removal of the hex socket head screws, a small gap is formed between the discharge and inlet manifolds. Thread in two M16 x 277 threaded studs into the top two outside threaded holes. These studs are used for safety purposes to prevent dropping of the discharge manifold and to assist in the alignment when removing, keeping weight off the ceramic plungers to avoid damage. Using a rubber hammer, tap the backside of the discharge manifold to separate from the inlet manifold. Use two flat tip screwdrivers to pry discharge manifold away from the inlet manifold. Carefully remove the discharge manifold and place on a flat surface. Remove the two M16 x 277 threaded studs. Use a 24mm hex wrench to remove the four M16 hex socket head screws and two M16 hex nuts. To create separation between the inlet manifold and crankcase, grasp the end of the crankshaft with a wrench and turn until there's a slight gap. Use two flat tip screwdrivers and pry inlet manifold away from the crankcase. While supporting the inlet manifold, use a rubber hammer to tap the back side of the inlet manifold to completely separate. Carefully remove the inlet manifold and place on a flat surface with the V-packing spacers facing up. To access the V-packings, the V-packing spacer must first be removed. Using two flat tip screwdrivers, insert into the groove and pry away from the manifold. Inspect O-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage. New O-rings are supplied in the seal kit. Remove spacers with coil springs and inspect small coil springs for damage. Remove the male adapters and inspect for wear or damage. Remove the pair of V-packings and inspect for wear or damage on the inside surface as well as the outside. New V-packings are supplied in the seal kit. Remove female adapters and inspect for wear or damage to the flat surface as well as the inside diameter. To remove the inlet adapter, start by removing the exposed o-ring. Use two flat tip screwdrivers and insert into the o-ring groove. Use caution not to nick or damage this o-ring sealing surface. Pry upward to remove inlet manifold spacers. Inspect o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage. New o-rings are supplied in a seal kit. Turn the inlet manifold over. Using a flat tip screwdriver, reach below the low pressure seal and pry away from the manifold. Use caution not to damage the low pressure sealing surfaces with the screwdriver. Inspect the spring and inside diameter for damage. New low pressure seals are supplied in a seal kit. Prior to installation of the low pressure seal, inspect sealing surfaces in the inlet manifold. Lubricate the outside diameter of the low pressure seal and position seal with spring facing down into the inlet manifold. Press into place. It may require the use of a rubber hammer to gently and evenly tap into place. Next, turn the inlet manifold over. 
Prior to reassemble the V-packings and adapter, inspect the sealing surfaces of the inlet manifold for any signs of damage. Before installing the inlet manifold spacers, remove and replace the O-ring supplied in the seal kit. Lubricate the O-rings and press the spacer into the inlet manifold. Before installing the V-packing spacers, remove and replace the O-rings with the new ones supplied in the seal kit. Install female adapters with flat surface facing down into the inlet manifold. Position the pair of V-packings with the V-side down into the inlet manifold. Install the male adapters with the V-side down into the inlet manifold. Next, install the spacer with the coil springs into the inlet manifold. Lubricate O-rings and press V-packing spacers into place. The seal kit also includes an O-ring that is located at the end of the plunger. To service this O-ring, start by removing the two-piece seal retainer with wick. Next, use an adjustable wrench to loosen the plunger retainer. Once loosened but before completely removing, stop and push the plunger towards the drive end to break loose from the retainer. Unscrew the plunger retainer. Inspect the O-ring and backup ring for cuts, nicks, or damage. Remove the ceramic plunger and inspect for cracks or abrasion to the surface. Remove the stainless steel keyhole washer and inspect for damage. Remove the rubber barrier slinger and inspect for damage. Before reinstalling the plunger retainer, replace with the new O-ring supplied in the seal kit. Remove the backup ring and then O-ring from the plunger retainer using a pick. To begin reassembly, install the new O-ring followed by the backup ring onto the plunger retainer. Next, install the rubber barrier slinger followed by the keyhole washer. The slot opening can face any direction. Lubricate the O-ring and backup ring on the plunger retainer. Install the plunger retainer assembly through the ceramic plunger. This can only be installed in one direction. Before installing, apply liquid thread sealant to the threads of the plunger rod. Hand thread the plunger rod assembly onto the plunger rod. Tighten using a wrench and torque to specification. Install the seal retainer with the long tail of the wick facing down. Ensure the long tail of the wick is positioned into the oil tray. To reinstall the inlet manifold, First, rotate the crankshaft until the two outside plungers are at an even distance from the crankcase. Use these two outside plungers as guides when installing the manifold. Next, slide the manifold over the ceramic plungers. Use a rubber hammer to ensure the manifold is flush to the crankcase surface.
and thread the two hex nuts and four socket head screws into place. Tighten using a 24mm hex wrench and torque to specification. Before installing the discharge manifold, thread the two M16 x 277 studs into the top two outside tapped holes on the inlet manifold. Use caution when sliding the discharge manifold over the top two threaded studs. Using a rubber hammer on the face of the discharge manifold, tap until flush with the inlet manifold. Hand thread in the six hex socket head screws. Remove the two M16 x 277 threaded studs. Hand thread in the remaining two hex socket head screws. Using a 14mm Allen wrench, tighten and torque to specification. Music